so here we have made the custom size pipe successfully so here there is option of group so if your sketch is very much complex and you have to weldment it so that time this group option is used so hello guys and welcome back to our channel simple random knowledge in today's video we are going to see how to use the weldment option and then we are going to see how to use the trim extend option and at the last we are going to see how to make the custom structural members so stay tuned and let's start with today's video so guys for making the use of weldment option we are going to use this geometry of cube that we have made in last video of 3d sketch basics if you want to learn how to make this cube I will post the link in i button there you will get the basic idea of 3d sketch in that you will able to learn how to make this cube so moving to our topic that is weldments so here you can see the option of weldments is there so click on weldments then go to structural members so this kind of interface will be open in front of you so here you can select the standard by default here there are two options that is inch and iso so click on iso so click on the type according to your purpose i will click on square then click on the size and if you see in the size option there are only limited size given of the pipe so for making the custom size of the pipe that we are going to see further so if i select 20 by 20 after selecting this sketch so you can see this size is too much large so if you want to make the custom pipe size open the weldment profile library so for getting the location of weldment profile library so click on this options symbol so in this uh, symbol you can see there is a file location option so click on file location option then here click on show the folder for scroll down and here you will get the option of weldments profile so click on weldments profile option so here you will get the location of that weldments profile option so open this weldments profile folder in your file manager so guys after opening this weldments profile folder so by default these two folders are there in your weldments profile option we have to add our custom folder so right click and then click on new and click on the folder option so name this folder as per your choice. i will name this folder as solidworks so after naming this folder so open this solidworks folder make a new folder again naming square pipe so after making the square pipe folder inside the solidworks folder go to iso then go to square tubes then select any of this file right click and copy this file and paste in this square pipe folder that we have made right now so after pasting this file minimize this file manager option then click on open so open that new file that we have pasted so open this file so your file will be get open so go to sketch right click on sketch option and click on edit sketch option so now select hold this sketch and delete it now go to the center rectangle draw the center rectangle over here go to smart dimensions and give the dimensions to this rectangle according to your pipe outer diameter i will keep 2 mm now select this line and this line and make them as equal so you will get a square over here now go to offset entities option click on this part and give the offset of 0.25 mm and reverse the direction of it and click on okay so this way your pipe catch got defined so this will be your outer diameter of your pipe and the inner square will be your inner diameter of your pipe and this will be the thickness of your pipe so after completing this sketch exit it and save this file by clicking on save option so after saving this sketch close this file then again go to this file manager options so rename this file as per your dimensions of inner and outer diameter and the thickness so i will rename it as 2 by 2 and 0.25 mm so after renaming this file uh, again go to the structural members and then you will able to see that our custom folder will be shown over here so click on solid works then you can see our subfolder that we have name as square pipe is shown over here click on square pipe and you can see the our custom size pipe size is shown here click on that option and then click on any of the line so here we have made the custom size pipe successfully so coming back to our weldments option so after selecting the standard type and size of your pipe so here there is option of group so if your sketch is very much complex and you have to weldment it so that time this group option is used 
so we will select other pipes also if your pipes are interlinked with each other so they will come under group 1 and if your pipe are not linked with each other they don't have any relation with each other that time you need to create a new group over here and then you can select that pipe so after this you can see there are many options below so for applying the corner treatment select on this checkbox so if you want to merge these edges then you can check this box also so in industries uh, for welding of this pipe uh, we need to keep a gap of uh, minimum 0.5 mm it depends on industry to industries so right now i will not keep a gap of 0.5 mm i will merge the trim bodies i will select on this checkbox and then click on ok so this way your cornering treatment is also done by default so giving the weldments to other pipe select on structural members then select this pipe this pipe this pipe and this pipe so as you can see we have selected the four pipe in the one group now if we try to select this below pipe in the same group solidworks will not allow you to select this pipe in the same group so for this you need to create a new group and then you can select this pipe so right now i will not select this below base of the square cube because it will be difficult for us while trimming option we will select this base in next structure member uh, so now we will give the weldments to the base so if i have selected this base at the same time while i am selecting this vertical pipes so that time this corner treatment will not be occur so for that purpose i have made a new structural members and then i have selected this pipe so simply click on ok so now moving to the trim option so if you can see this pipe is merged inside the above pipe so for trimming this vertical pipes we go to the trim extend option then bodies to be trimmed we will select this four pipes so after selecting the four pipes then there is a trim boundary option in this there is a two option that we can select we can select the face as a boundary or we can select the body as a boundary so for this situation so we will select this bodies and you can see some part of this pipe is still remaining over here so by this we understand that we can't select this body so we select the face option so we will select this below face as a boundary for all the four pipes we will select this lower face and now you can see there is no extension shown over here so this way you, according to the situation we select the option of face boundary or a body boundary so similarly you can see this pipe is merged inside this base pipe so for trimming that we will select these four bodies and we will try for selecting the bodies as a boundary if we select this body as a boundary for all the four pipes so here you can see the extra part of vertical pipe is not shown in the base pipe so for this situation we can select a body as a boundary and then click on ok so this way we have trimmed all the bodies successfully so this was all about a trim extend so today we have learned how to use the weldment option how to create a custom size pipe and how to use the trim extend option so if you have liked this video please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon near it so if you have not watched my previous videos of solidworks tutorials so in that i have explained how to use the 3d sketch option and how to draw this cube so i will post the link in i button and the description box below so please go and watch that videos after completing this video so stay safe and happy learning thank you